In this video, we will take a look at non-cellular and cellular trail cameras, specifically the Bushnell HD non-cell trophy camera and the Spartan Go cell cam. Both are compact and can be operated in camera mode or video mode. They have infrared sensors with either invisible or adjustable levels of detection, and in both you can set photo burst intervals and video length. Let's take a look at the non-cellular Bushnell Trophy Cam. This camera has a trigger speed of under one second and fast recovery speeds, making it great for catching fast moving animals. And offers a nighttime range of 80 to 100 feet, depending on if you're using the Bushnell Low Glow or No Glow Trophy Cam. Lastly, the Bushnell Trophy Cam offers up to a 12 month battery life and there are no monthly payment plans as there are with the cellular transmission cameras. Now let's take a look at the Spartan GoCam, a cellular transmission camera. These also have a quick one second trigger speed, but they do take about 60 seconds to recover for the next photo. This is slower than the Bushnell Trophy Cam. Lithium batteries are highly recommended for these. With 15 day photos and 15 night photos, this camera lasts approximately two and a half months. Cellular cameras record images or video and can transmit them to your email or your phone via the commercial network and the internet. They come with a SIM card, and it works just like a phone once you have purchased the data package for the card. Cell cameras are ideal if you'd like your data quickly via email or text. They can also be easily programmed to work directly with the CamOn system, automatically sending photos into the database via the cellular network. It also offers remote, real-time control options to check things like SD card capacity, power levels, you can request status reports or photos, set photo resolution, and much more via other devices. Lastly, in the unfortunate event of your camera getting stolen, you still retain your data. That wraps it up for this overview of the non-cell and cell transmission cameras. Find their spec sheets in the camera section at wildlifeobserver.net. While you're there, check out some of the projects and photos. You'll see how easy it can be to organize and automate your next camera trap project.